Hey everybody, this is the first video that we're going to do about the science of the Olympics. We're going to do a topic that is near and dear to my heart, and that's talking about endurance training, and more specifically, the science of altitude training. We are here to look at altitude. Why do athletes train at altitude? Now, I define altitude training as any training above 5,000 feet. To do that, we are here in Colorado Springs. It's the home of the Olympic training facility at 6,000 feet. And if you can see behind me, we have Pikes Peak. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna climb up the top and see how our bodies are adapted to the altitude right now. Let's go. All around your body, bringing in the stuff that it needs. The blood goes through the lungs to get some oxygen and put the ground so your body can breathe. Here, camera. What do you think it is about the altitude that helps athletes um, train? Um, I think because it strengthens their lungs so much. And what, what is it about the thinner atmosphere? Um, just like you, you adjust your lungs to less air. I think it, it allows your lungs to open up more. Maybe you're, you get a better wind when you're out here because you have to force yourself to have to breathe out here and run. And then when you go there and it's thicker and the air is more moist maybe, it, it gives you more air and moist, moisture yeah. in your lungs maybe. Contrary to popular belief, it doesn't really have anything to do with our lungs. Right. I honestly, I don't know. I just kind of go along with that. So, <laughs> maybe, so maybe like the oxygen is, is higher yeah. at sea level. Yeah. So sure. there's, then that's what we need. For oxygen. Sure. Yeah. Oxygen. <laughs> now to understand what's happening to our bodies at altitude, let's review really quickly how our body uses oxygen. We breathe in air. It has oxygen in it. Our lungs help pass the oxygen to our blood. Our blood passes the oxygen to our tissues. At high altitudes, there is less oxygen, meaning less oxygen in the blood and less oxygen gets into the muscles. Thus, we feel winded. So, our body compensates by creating more red blood cells. If we go down in altitude, those extra red blood cells then can carry even more oxygen to our tissues. So why is it then that everybody thinks altitude training is all about the lungs? It makes sense you feel winded when you're at altitude. Not far at all from where we started. <laughs> We're already... <laughs> Really winded. But it's not about the lungs. I mean, over time, you could probably build some lung capacity, which is really important. But in the short term, and what most athletes are actually doing when they go to altitude, is something completely different. In fact, this is what's happening. First, your body senses the lowered amount of oxygen in the blood, with little special cells in your kidneys. Those cells trigger the release of the hormone EPO. Now that hormone functions to trigger the release of more red blood cells. So athletes that train at altitude have more red blood cells flowing through their body. And remember, red blood cells carry oxygen. So simply the more red blood cells you have, the better you can carry oxygen to your tissues. So if you train at altitude and you go down in elevation, you have the ability to push yourself harder for a short period of time. The trick is it only lasts for about 15 days before you lose it. Then again, there is some controversy as to whether or not it's actually all that beneficial to train at altitude because it does take a lot of time to get used to the altitude and you, you really are not getting the greatest workouts when you're getting used to the altitude. It just takes a lot out of your body, right? Holy crap. Did you know there is a formula for how long it takes you to acclimate to certain elevations? It goes like this. It takes 11.4 days per 1,000 meters in elevation to acclimate to wherever you are. So there you go, in a nutshell, the science of altitude training. Um, if you guys do altitude training, I'd like to hear what you think. Uh, leave your comments in the section below. I love training at altitude, especially because of that week or so when you come back at elevation, you feel like you're like a running god or something, which is pretty cool. Remember, we have more videos coming up about the science Olympics so if you want to continue the journey then click right here on the brain crafts video it's pretty awesome and we have videos from the curious engineer coming up as well so we'll see you next time thanks for watching and remember to subscribe when all groups race down the same course a dynamic imagery group had the fastest average time